backbone of automotive manufacturing are the various joining methods. Some of these are welding, press fit, riveting and bolting. Diving into bolting, the ultimate goal of a bolt is to achieve a consistent and accurate clamp load between two components. There are a number of influences that impact the clamp load, such as thread friction, settling time, as well as underhead friction. We find there are three main bolting strategies. Straight torque. This is when we tighten a bolt to a final specified torque value. We then have torque and angle. This is where we tighten to an initial torque and then a final angle. And then yield torque is where we use a specially designed bolt designed to stretch to achieve the desired clamp load. The disadvantages of the straight torque strategy are that it does not consider influences such as underhead friction, dirt, oil, or even paint that might be around the bolt. Normally when straight torque is used, these bolts are oversized and torqued to a much higher value. This is to overcome the external influences of paint and underhead friction. Yield point bolting is a very specialized strategy where bolts are specifically designed to stretch once the desired clamp load is achieved. This bolting strategy is often used with cylinder head tightening as an example. By far the most common strategy adopted is torque and angle. With this method we tighten to an initial lower torque where influences such as underhead friction and dirt have a minimal effect. We then tighten to a fixed angle of, for example, 180 degrees. The dirt and underhead friction have no influence on this angle measurement. As a result, we can now achieve our desired clamp load more accurately.